Hey there, it's Eugenio Sabo here, and today I've got a very interesting video. It's something that has been extremely important to me to learn how to handle, and something I've actually spent a lot of money to be able to handle correctly, which I consider is the biggest enemy of any entrepreneur. Starting out any kind of business, in any niche, in any industry, I think this is the absolute worst trap you can get into as an entrepreneur. So before we dive straight into it, I want to briefly introduce myself for those who don't know me. I am Eugenio Sabo, and I'm the CEO and founder of Voco Incubator. If you're an e-commerce store making anywhere between 20 to 50 grand in monthly recurring revenue, and you would like to add an extra 30 to 100K in the next six to nine months, feel free to click the link in the description so we can have a chat to determine if we are the best option to help you grow. Up to the extent where we've already generated up to $12 million for our clients all around the globe. So since I actually started uh, my first entrepreneurial project, well, probably a good amount of years ago, I've actually gone through a lot of ups and downs. I've gone through a lot of moments, tough and beautiful moments. And I think there's one thing which is the biggest enemy of any entrepreneur. And this has affected me in various ways and I wanna put some example. So this thing is frustration. When you're frustrated, you're basically reflecting that on your business. And basically, when you were speaking about a small business, by small I mean less than 15 to 20 people, there's no such thing as business problems. There are personal problems that reflect on the business. Therefore, if you're frustrated, you're gonna reflect that in the way you handle your conversations with your team, with your clients, the way you, when you do your work, everything. You're gonna reflect that on everything. And you're gonna do that unconsciously because you might not even know it but you're unconsciously doing that and your brain is tricking you to do this, okay? This can seem like a bit tricky, but honestly, this is so damn true. So in my case, um, obviously, I've been very frustrated in many occasions because at the end of the day, I always want to be in a place where I'm not right now. So basically, when you want to be here and right now you're here, you're frustrated because you want to reach that. You know it, you've got it there but you don't know how to get there. Or you think you're doing everything in your hands to achieve it and, and reach that point. Well, the thing is, when you're getting frustrated as a business owner, you're screwing your whole business up. When we started Weco um, some years ago, uh, one of our core pillars of the business, obviously it's service delivery, all these kind of things, but another core pillar is client acquisition. So being able to acquire clients. When I started Weco, I had absolutely no clue about sales. So I hopped on calls and I just tried to add as much value as I could to, to prospects, just try to be as nice, uh, cause of great impression on them. And I, my goal, to be honest with you, is I wanted them to leave the call saying, oh, this guy's a lovely guy, you know? Obviously I took like 40 calls and closed no clients. So that was, well, no, I'm like, I actually closed one out of 40 calls, you know? Which is not a great conversion rate, to be totally honest. It's like a 2.5% which is, wow, quite tough, no? So I had an, uh, a moment where I started to get extremely frustrated up to the point where I actually even stopped taking sales calls because I was so frustrated and it was so painful to go in there knowing that you had no bloody clue. I had read a ton of books, I've done a lot of stuff and yet I wasn't able to close those clients which was extremely, extremely painful, you know? So at the end of the day, not so much for closing them and oh, yeah, I've got one more client, you know? But at the end of the day, for two main reasons. First of all, obviously, because I wanna help those brands. You now, if I've got a brand in front of me that I know I can help them, well, and, I, and I'm not able to do so, I, I honestly blame myself. Like the other day I had a call, well, yesterday, with an incredible brand, very good. Um, they actually really liked it. I really knew we could really, really, really help them and at the end of the day, they said no, no. Um, obviously not everyone can say yes, no, that's obvious. But it's not so much of saying, oh yeah, great, I close the client. It's, I know I can help them and I won't be able to do so. And that's something very, very painful for me personally, because I really want to help them out. And secondly, because obviously I've got my goals, I want to grow the brand, uh, well, the business. And, and yeah, that's one of the core pillars to grow a business. So uh, I basically stopped doing sales and my business nearly sank. No, I lost most of my clients. Um, I was left with, I think, one of, I can I think one or two, I'm not totally sure. It was my early days. I didn't have like a, 
a lot of clients, but well, I had a, a decent amount um, for, for the time I had been in the game for. And later had to go back into sales. And I realized that the main problem I had was frustration. And that's why when you're frustrated, at the end of the day, when you're in a sales call, for example, you're just transferring your emotions to that other person. So it's very, very important that you actually go onto that sales call with a very positive energy. Okay, and this can sound like a bit great, a bit hippie, but but I honestly, I do believe this is true. If you transfer confidence, um, happiness, passion, all these kind of things to the other person, he's going to receive that. And honestly, the chances of him going on board with you are 10 times bigger. I want to put you another example based on this. Um, this start of the year, the January, February and March uh, was pretty well Q1 uh, of 2023. It was quite slow in terms of client acquisition. Uh, for the moment, I'm also taking sales calls um, within my business. And start of Q2, I basically started everything again. I changed my mindset. I took 10 days off. I went on a trip. And I came back and said, okay, out, like frustrations out the way, let's go and help people. And all of a sudden, out of a couple calls, I've had like a 60% closing rate since then in the last three, four weeks, which are like 60% of all the calls I've taken, I've closed them, which is pretty insane. You know? So I honestly believe like that we're just like the energy I transfer to them is so positive, so much confidence, because I know I can help them. So much passion that they just want to go on board. No, like regardless of the price, regardless of everything. But the basically to conclude what I really want to make um, and stand out is that you are just, your business is based upon yourself. And yourself as an entrepreneur is based upon your emotions. Like emotions is the biggest threat to any entrepreneur. And frustration is one of those toughest emotions to handle when you're an entrepreneur. So basically, you really need to be at a very positive state. If you're currently grinding 24-7 and you're totally burnt out, you might need to take a break because your business is suffering from that. Sometimes work is not the solution to these negative emotions. Sometimes it's disconnecting, it's taking time off, going with your family, going with your friends, going with all these kind of loved ones. So it's very important that you really understand this because if not, you're basically battling against yourself, which I think is a terrible battle to, to go for. But I must say that the moment where I've actually been like, take some time off, zero frustration, come completely like reset, reset it in my mind, it's been the moment where I've grown the most and I've closed the highest amount of clients. And I've grown the most for my clients, myself and everyone. So the happiest moment in business. So I wish you a great day. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.